This video is an earth curvature demonstration and attempts to ask the question, how big is the earth and how round is it? According to modern science, about 25,000 miles in circumference. That's confirmed by a guy named Erasthenes, who said the earth was curved based on shadows he calculated from two vertical objects. The earth curvature formula is simplified to 8 inches per mile squared. Now, if the Earth is truly 25,000 miles in circumference, we should be able to see that drop-off of curvature as we look over a known horizon. I did this by driving to Michigan City, Indiana, to look at Chicago, Illinois. Michigan City is 33 to 40 miles from the skyline of Chicago. What I did is drove to the beach of Washington Park, Indiana, and just used my video camera, which has a 300x zoom, 150, which is a natural zoom lens. And I tried to see if I could see the city. Well, what turns out when I got there, I could see the Chicago skyline with my bare eyes. It was interesting that when I got there, I could see the skyline lights of the city from the nighttime, and as the sun came up, I could continue to see the buildings. Doing the math, 8 inches times 38 miles squared divided by 12 inches per feet, we get 963 feet of skyline, which should be below the horizon. I have attached a quick reference table that shows you hidden feet per mile. This calculation seems to be pretty consistent with everything else I've found on the internet. Please comment if you think my formula or this spreadsheet table is incorrect. Chicago's Willis Tower is 1,450 feet high. So, if you subtract the curvature of the Earth from 1,450 feet, you'll get 487 feet of the tower that should be visible. Anything below that should not be visible. Is this what we see? I graphed out the miles, how much skyline is lost over the curvature of the Earth using Lake Michigan. So you can see this chart here. Now when we look at the Chicago skyline from Washington Park, right there in Michigan City, here's a picture someone else took. I thought it was real cool. This is a little bit like what I saw when I arrived at daylight early on June 2nd. You can see the skyline quite well with your eyes. Matter of fact, while it was still slightly dark, you can see the skyline very well. Here's another photo taken from Indiana Dunes. Again, this is not my photograph. Someone else took this. I found it on Google Earth. And I wanted to post it just to show you how well that could be seen. Yet another photograph here of the Chicago skyline. Part of those buildings you should not be able to see. Clearly you can see most of those buildings. Below that white line you should not be able to see any buildings. But in fact you can. If the Earth has a 25,000 mile circumference and how come those buildings aren't hidden behind the curve? 487 feet above the line should be all that's visible, but in fact, we can see much more than that. This is my video that I took at daylight. The haze is somewhat because of the early morning haze of the water. Plus, the camera I have wasn't very good quality. It's an old camera, it's not HD, but you can see there are buildings in the horizon that you can see just fine. So in conclusion, no curvature is observable based on the widely accepted circumference of the Earth being 25,000 miles. Either the Earth is larger, a larger sphere than described, or the Earth is not a sphere and is flat. I can only go by what my eyes tell me what can be demonstrated scientifically. A little bit of math, you've got a bit of geometry. What I observe is flatness. I'm open to correction, and please correct anything that you think I've said is wrong. Believe me, I don't want to believe that the Earth is flat.